proud to continue to stand with her, but she has tackled issues that have been on Main Street, mm -hmm. fighting Wall Street. Mm -hmm. She's been working hard for middle class families. And whether it's a local issue with her dedicated staff, she is there, or you see her on the forefront on national or worldwide issues, she's there. And she's always very accessible, very personable, and a great sense of humor. And that is our United States Senator, Elizabeth Warren. Put your hands up. to have some skin in the game so that they have 
a real financial interest in keeping down the costs for our students, in helping students in the two-year institutions get through in two years and get their certificates, in the four-year institutions get through in four years and get their certificates. But we've also got to fight to refinance outstanding student loan debt. Uh, it's one, yeah, it's 1.2 trillion dollars that our kids owe now, and we have got to bring that down for our young people. That means both refinancing debt that's out there down to lower interest rates, and finding better ways to forgive debt for students who are out doing public interest work and other kinds of work that benefit us all. We have got to find a way to relieve that burden. I just want to be clear with everyone about this. There are two pieces that are fundamentally woven together here. The first one is economic. The Federal Reserve Bank now identifies that one of the things that's starting to act as a drag on our economy is the fact that the kids are so burdened with student loan debt, they can't buy homes, they can't buy cars, they can't get started in life. We're feeling the economic effects. We refinance that debt, it's a boost to the economy. But the second reason is moral. We cannot be a country that says, oh, we'll subsidize big oil companies, we'll subsidize companies that hide money overseas, we'll subsidize companies that kill jobs here in the United States, but our kids who are trying to get an education, they get nothing. They have to pay extra. That's fundamentally wrong. That's not <laughs> I'm going to be working on this year is we need to increase our investments in medical research and scientific research. It's just straightforward. When I was growing up, we put money into the NIH, into scientific research, and it paid this country back. It built jobs, not just for scientists, not just for doctors, for those at the top. It builds jobs up and down the line. For every dollar we put into NIH, we get $2.23 in economic activity immediately. So again, economically, it is the right thing to do. We make those investments in medical research and scientific research. We build an economy here in Western Massachusetts. We build an economy across Massachusetts. We build an economy that's good across this country. But again, there's a second reason to do this. As a country, we know the problems we face. Increasingly, Alzheimer's, diabetes, autism. Our scientists have their toes on the edge of discoveries that can help us all. We need to make those investments. We need to make those investments so we are a stronger, healthier people. We do this, we build a future for ourselves, for, our, for people around this country, for people around the world. And this is what we do as America. This is our, our task in life. So we're going to do this. And the third thing I want to mention that I'm going to be pushing hard on this year, I'm tired of playing defense on Social Security. It's time to go on offense. Look. We have a social security system that works, but we've been starving that social security system. And so people have started talking about what are we gonna do, the social security system. Now remember, it's got enough money now, but in about 20 years, it would run out of the surplus and benefits would drop by about 25%. It's not a catastrophe, and let me be clear, social security is not related to the deficit. It is not causing a problem with the deficit. So every time you hear that, you know you're hearing someone who's just trying to get you to look the other way, look over at the shiny object somewhere else. We're not doing that. Social Security needs to be readjusted. We need to make adjustments so that we are sure it is going to be there to pay 
for ourselves, to pay for our children, to pay for our grandchildren. Social Security works and it is our obligation to make sure it is secure and safe on into the future forever. We can do that. But here's the more critical point. We have to remember that two out of every three Social Security recipients counts on that Social Security to put food on the table and to put a roof over their heads. For 14 million Americans, Social Security is all that stands between them and poverty. We need to be thinking about making more investments in Social Security so that we can increase the payments for those who need it most. This is what we do as a country. So we've got a lot that we're going to work on. We've got a lot to do in this next year. There'll be other details, other pieces we'll work on. God bless. The Senate has passed immigration reform. We cannot let that die. We've got to push back on the House of Representatives. The Republicans won't even let us get a vote on it over in the House of Representatives. Uh, the Senate has passed ENDA, stopping job discrimination based on sexual orientation. We've got to keep pushing the House of Representatives. The Republicans won't even vote on it. Uh, we're going to have a lot of issues that we're going to keep talking about and we'll keep working on over the next year. But my job is to keep pushing and to keep pushing in these three areas, in related areas, um, but always toward trying to level the playing field. We've got a Washington that works for the rich and the powerful. It's just not working as well for regular families. Our job, our job together, is to make sure that our government works not for the rich and powerful, but for us. Our government is here to work for us, and that's what this is going to be about. So I'm going to come around. I want to talk with everyone. Have a chance.